Hello everyone, it's been a couple of weeks since the last video, so uh, I'm due to show off um, some of the things I've added to version 3. Um, it'll be a quick video, there's not a great deal to show, so let's get into it. before I get into that particular theme, let's just go into test theme. Let's go into text game to view. And add. Uh, do I not have a Oh, I don't have any videos for this platform. Oopsie. Let me go to um, one of these. Sorry about that. All right. So in the last video, I was talking about effects and I had pivot. Okay. So you could do this. All right. Well, since then, I've added Y. Okay. And then we've added uh, rotation. So you can do X and Y. All right. So if you have a tabletop image and you want to um, add the video to the tabletop image to make it more realistic, now you can do that. If you have a, an arcade cabinet or a TV that's off angle, you can do that too. All right. And it scales, so as you can see. So if the whole view scales, this UI element scales, and the positioning of the rotation and everything remains relative to the size of uh, the UI element as it's scaling up and down. That was one of the, the biggest issues I had with the whole 3D, excuse me, three three-dimensional rotation for years and I kind of gave up uh, and we're using a different approach on this one. And I say we because um, I didn't write the code that um, this is utilizing. Um, I had someone else write the code. Um, it's employing HLL, HLSL shaders uh, to, to perform this. And it's very cool. Um, okay, so with that being said, I had um, watched a Capcom presentation on YouTube a few weeks ago, um, probably about the same time as when the new effects were given to me and I included them in my, my app. Um, and I really like the look of the, the Mega Man um, presentation on the video. So I took a screenshot and I'm like, Okay, what would it take to somewhat, you know, construct this, you know? <laughs> so let me see, I gotta find it. And that's what I came up with. All right. text view, wall view, let me just zoom in, all right, um, and there were a couple of things while I was testing, I mean obviously I was, I knew the rotate was going to work just fine, um, and I'm employing the, the rotate effect on these two uh, panels here, I think they look fantastic, um, but it was more to do with the filter criteria. So as you can see, I've selected a playlist called Ace Combat and it's showing it up here. And, and that's all well and good. 
but I noticed while I was in big box testing this theme for performance and whatnot, um, I was filtering on other criteria such as ratings like E for everybody, M for mature, uh, or region, stuff like that. And that filter criteria was not being displayed um, in that area. Come to find out, you have to engage two big box settings uh, in order to make that work. And uh, so instead of publishing the theme with instructions, set the following options to this and this and this, we can actually use the theme specific um, options uh, overrides that Big Box has had in place for quite some time now. Um, but I needed to be able to give you the ability to set that up front. So that's what I'm also working on. Um, and to demonstrate, uh, you know, I can click this theme here, hit edit. The edit theme panel comes up, if you're familiar with this, certainly when you create a theme. But now you can go through the different categories. And as you can see, for views, um, I've enabled these two options here. And that allows this filter criteria to be displayed um, when running in big box for this theme. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I don't have toggle switches for all the other options. I'm still working on this. Um, I only just put it together yesterday. Um, and uh, so I haven't had a chance to kind of add it to everything yet. Um, but that's what it will do. It will build um, an overrides XML file when you publish your theme. Big Box picks it up, uses it, and ensures those options are engaged for this particular theme. All right, without messing around with other themes. That's the whole purpose. So I wanted to give you the ability to kind of set your themes up front, set all the options up up front before you publish. Um, and then that way you don't have to have lengthy instructions in there to say, enable this, disable that, blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, so that's where I'm at with that. I'll finish that over the next couple of days. Uh, version three is um, primarily focusing on effects. And when I say effects, we're talking about not just talking about the HLSL shaders that I've embedded so far, and I've got two more coming, um, but also the animation system, um, being able to fine tune when you want to execute um, uh, you know, a storyboard or a, an, a, a set of animation sequences. Um, so for example, if I go back to the mega theme and we have this details panel here, if, if there were no metadata at all, uh, available for this selected game, then why even display the panel? So I want to be able to provide you with the ability to say, hey, if this panel has no metadata values, it doesn't have ratings, it doesn't have ES ESRB, it doesn't have notes, and currently it's displayed on screen, then move it off screen. And then you could say, and then you click a different game, and that game has metadata fields or metadata values. You could say, well, if the selected game has this and it has this and it has this and currently the the details panel is not on screen then move it on screen so what you'll end up with now as you scroll through certain games um, is that this panel will display and you know hide display hide based on those conditions okay which is a hell of a lot better than displaying a panel with nothing in it or displaying a panel with um, fallback values saying no notes to display and, you know, whatever else it may be, you know, no icons for rating, you know, that kind of thing. So that way you can really kind of fine tune how you um, want to animate certain UI elements on screen. 
Um, so that's that's when I talk about effects. It's not just the H HL SL shaders. It's it's everything that goes along with it. Um, and there will be things that you'll be able to animate that you haven't been able to animate today. Um, and I'll go into that when I'm ready to do so. But um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. All this version three, all about effects this time. Okay. And obviously bug fixes and enhancements and all this kind of stuff as I, as I, um, as I go through the code. Um, as I encounter certain things, I'll, I'll add what is necessary uh, to support, um, you know, the construction of this theme, for example. If, if, the, if, if there are things that I have in mind for this particular theme and I can't do it, I'll add the feature and in order to make it work, things like that. Um, so, um, yeah, this, this theme is my, my test theme for version 3. All right. Um, so with that said, I've got an awful lot of work to do. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be another three weeks or so before, uh, before the next progress update video, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse at, um, you know, where I'm at and, um, some of the things that you'll be able to do, um, with, uh, with version three. All right. So until the next video, take care everyone. All right.